It's never gonna end, Abby. Mm. Never ending. <laughs> My name is Chloe, in case you didn't already know, and today I am bringing up some situations where I have extremely embarrassed myself in public. I'm basically that type of person who just embarrasses themselves 24 7 and that wasn't even English, but whatever. No, it's not me accidentally splashing someone or falling over in front of a crush, which I have done multiple times. These um situations are more like me having a voice crack in front of the class whilst performing, except they're not that. These have all just happened when I've been in public with friends and... I basically shouldn't ever leave my house. Since they're my friends and I hang out with them a lot, they all know how much I embarrass myself. I ask them if there's any embarrassing stories that they remember of me embarrassing myself, of course. <laughs> and somehow they struggled. <laughs> like, I mean, there must be that many. Yeah, it's, it's a lot if you get to that point. And here are the situations I've constantly embarrassed myself. So about five years ago when I was in year seven, Abby and I had a room with tech together as well as textiles. We were doing our work and we had a substitute teacher for that lesson which means our teacher was away, so we had a teacher to fill in for that. The teacher was allowing us to listen to music as long as we did our work. So that was a compromise. We would be quiet and listen to music and do our work at the same time. We weren't allowed to talk. So basically the whole class was dead silent. So with me, just being myself, I was sitting there working and started singing to Wild Streams by Taylor Swift. And I hadn't even noticed. Basically I was sitting in class singing and when it was dead silent. And doing my work apparently and I hadn't even noticed a tap on my shoulder like a hello wake up what are you doing something you know you get it the teacher told me to be quiet and at this point I had no idea what was going I was extremely confused and then she walked off so I looked at Abby and then Abby was just bursting into laughter and then eventually told me that I was singing hey <laughs> do you remember that time I was in wood tech and then I started singing <laughs> Maybe those several times. What several times? There's more than one. What? Yeah. I only remember the one. Well, I think there are others. Oh no. Also involving Abby. <laughs> Still, mate, you're a bad influence on me. <laughs> Two years ago, we were on Year Nine camp. And for that camp, we both decided to go to Sydney because we had an option to where to go. There was like eight. That's seven, sorry. There were eight choices of like where to go. So basically we both chose to Sydney mainly because it was Sydney and we haven't been before. And mainly because of Bondi Beach. Basically if you don't know what Bondi Rescue is, it is a TV show that we have here in Australia. And it's based on the surf life saving at Bondi Beach. Once we had arrived at Bondi, both of us were fangirling over the fact that we were actually just there. And what contributed to that was us having high hopes to meet Jethro, which is one of the lifesavers. One of the lifeguards, lifesavers, whatever you want to call them. And as a group, we were just all chilling on the beach, you know, having a good time. And then Abby and I both look up and see Jethro roll past. We completely freaked out. We're like, oh my god, is that Jethro? Oh my god, that's Jethro. Oh my god, it's Jethro. He was walking past, so we unfortunately missed out the opportunity. So I said to Abby, right, next time we see Jethro, we're going to go take a photo. So we were there, still with our group of friends, still chatting, still chilling, you know, saying hi to some lifeguards. Um, it was great. And then we see Jethro roll past again. And I saw Jethro and I instantly went J -j 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 Jethro. And then I looked at Abby and just bolted down the beach. Like I bolted up the ramp and along the footpath just chasing Jethro. Abby had no idea what was going on. She was confused, the poor thing. And started running after me. Basically we were just running after lifeguards on the beach in public. Keep in mind Bondi is a very very busy beach. In the end we did eventually end up getting a photo with them and basically we ended up right behind them not knowing what to do. So Jethro was with Glick and then we were both there not knowing what to do um laughing because we were like oh my god we literally just ran after them. And then they both um and then they turn around and Jethro is like oh I thought I heard giggling we're like <laughs> whoops. In the conversation we each got a photo and they were chill about it surprisingly but I mean I bet they had a funny story to tell when they got home. Yeah. Jethro. <laughs> Jethro. Oh. <laughs> Jethro. Oh. Uh, I don't know, that one wasn't so bad. <laughs> but it was the you running that got me. That <laughs> yeah, I just told that. <laughs> I, I told you. I, oh my god. And then 
I thought I heard giggling. I'm just trying to catch my breath. I just cut that out. <laughs> Stay hydrated, kids. So my friend Ruby and I, we started a project for Markiplier when he came here for his You're Welcome tour, which is also involving Wade, Bob, Tyler, Ethan. And we made um, these little mustache lights. Like a little mustache. Little. Yeah, basically we did that and handed them out at each show, blah, blah, blah. During the VIP section of my show that I was at, the Melbourne one, Mark and his mates decided to play a game with us. We put up our hand and asked them a chemistry question, and then they would go from each person Answering with one word um, as a group. Mark would say, I, and then Ethan would say, don't. And then Bob would say, no. You know, they would say one word each to answer this question. They kept going until the question was answered. And I hadn't realized by this point, I shot my hand up and basically this is what happened. <laughs> Raise your <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, I'm awkward, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I have for today because I cannot handle any more of those stories. We'll just move into our apartment. Oh my god. We should have a pinata room. 